Before I got to change my order around a little bit here, but um, I'm really, really, really pleased to introduce uh, Coach Aki Thomas and uh, Assistant Coach Jay Green. Uh, they have came and have a few words to say. you guys at the game we need the support right um, over the years you guys have all been tremendous and it's been consistent throughout I just want you to, to know that our guys appreciate that you sound great you look great you move great it's clear that you, you work hard and you you're serious about what you do and it means the world to us and give yourselves a round of applause for being so dedicated <laughs> to you and your CF players you guys are awesome Keep it going. See you over at the rack in a couple minutes. I gotta go yell at these dudes for a couple minutes to get them ready for this game. My name is Matt Bosch. I'm the director of bands here at UMBC Athletics. This is my fifth year in the position. Um, I actually started in the band uh, in 2004 as a percussionist, and I, I studied information systems and music education. So what is, what is music to me? What is music to this group? It means so much uh, to the school um, and to these students. You know, one of the things that makes performing in an ensemble unique is you know, you're not just focusing on your own parts, it's how well do you play with a group. We have right now 70 to 80 people. You know, we work throughout the year, continue to grow. We have about 125 songs we learn each season. It's an incredible amount of music. Um, and to be able to pull off those really difficult songs right by the end of the year as we travel on the tournaments, it's an incredible feeling and uh, great, a great sense of, of just teamwork and accomplishment from a group. So today is our fifth annual Alumni Day. Every year we invite all of the spirit groups, not just the band, but cheerleaders, dance team, to come back and reunite, perform with their groups. Today we are playing Maine, and uh, it is a huge blizzard outside, but despite that fact, over 40 alumni have showed up. Hopefully the band and all of us together will help lead our team to victory. My name is Nick. I'm one of the student directors here for the UMBC Pep Band. It's my second year, and I'm a sophomore. Playing in the band for me is a great way to expand my musical knowledge. We're playing different music here than I do in, say, the jazz band or the uh, orchestra. Um, it gives me a lot more playing time, a lot more experience on my instrument. I think without the band, the feeling, the air in here would be pretty stale. If the band wasn't there, I don't think half of the people would get into it. Every single time I'm here, they're getting excited, they're rowdy, they're yelling, they, they paint their faces, they got wild hats, crazy things. Their music, they have great music, they always have good hits out, um, and their drum line's amazing, and I always find myself dancing to them. So without them, yeah, it'd be pretty dry. My name's Paul Swenson, uh, class of 2006 and 2010, computer science, UMBC. For me, playing in the band um, meant a lot. Um, you know, I was involved in music since the third grade, and um, pep band at UMBC was a chance to stay involved with music even while I was pursuing uh, you know, a computer science degree. Alumni Day, I mean, like there's all these people here, um, a lot of them I went to school with, and you know, like there's like 50 of them over there that I've you know, I've seen before, I've met, you know, it's, it's just amazing to see the program uh, growing so big, you know, like so many new students involved and, you know, so many new charts and like a drum line. I mean, it's, it's just amazing where things have gone and I'm really excited to see where things go in the next five years or ten years. So it's Wednesday night before the women's basketball tournament. It's our last practice. Uh, we're meeting tonight, put everything together. We've got some new music we're trying uh, all to get ready for the tournament on Saturday. Uh, we'll be driving up to Binghamton. It's about five hours uh, upstate New York, and we're playing Stony Brook. For us, it's more of a battle of the bands. Um, Stony Brook has a good group, but we uh, have a reputation of being one of the best bands in our conference. And so hopefully uh, we'll get all the new music learned today and uh, make some progress and be ready for Saturday. So after a long six hour bus ride, uh, we have arrived here in Binghamton, New York for the America East Women's Basketball Championship. For us, this is a battle of the bands 
and we're just getting warmed up and, and ready so that we can uh, play our hearts out as soon as UMBC takes the court. and I'm a freshman on the UMBC cheerleading team. The band really adds another uh, dimension to the music. I love cheering alongside the band. They're a great group of people. They have a lot of energy. And especially today at the American East Tournament, we feed off of each other. They start their own chants. We follow and back and forth. It's great. Man, 49-47, this was one of the closest games I've seen. Uh, we managed to pull off by two. I have to think the band had something to do with that, all of the spirit groups here today. Band played their hearts out, cheered their hearts out, sounded outstanding. I've just been bombarded with compliments from uh, the other bands, band directors, fans on both sides. Doing this now for five years is probably one of my favorite things is seeing the group continue to grow. By the end of the season, we are nailing every song. The band is having a great time. We're getting standing ovations. Being a member of the band will be a pivotal experience for any student who wants to get involved. You will see a side of UMBC that not a lot of students get to see. You'll make friends for life. You get to travel. It's a lot of work. It certainly pays off in the end. And if it's something you're thinking about, give it a shot.